Hello everyone. How are you doing? Will you like to create an animation like this on your Android device? If your answer is yes, you are in the right place. All you have to do is to watch this video to the end. So you get to know how to do this. And don't forget to click on the subscribe button and notification bell for more videos like this. Now let's get to it. Okay, now to get started, the first thing we have to do is to download the application. The application I'm going to teach you how to download now is the cracked one that you don't need to pay to get. Because the one you guys will go and download on Google Play Store is the one that you pay for. But here, I'm going to give you how to, I'm going to teach you how to download the cracked one. So the link to download it is right here. To get the link correct, go to the description of this video. You are going to see the link there. Or you go to the comment section. I'm going to also drop the link on the comment section. So now I'm going to teach you how to download it with the link. Because some people might say they, they got confused when downloading it. So I'm going to download it right here. So you get to see exactly how I'm downloading it with the link. So after you've copied the link, you paste it right into your browser. Then you search it. If you search it, you have to bypass this thing. You have to skip. You have to wait for five seconds so you got to you skip it so that it's going to direct you to the link to download so now after it has reached five seconds you click on skip add after that it's going to bring up this website right here and this is the website that you are going to be downloading the plotagon from so now what you have to do is to click on the download link and if you click on the download page it's going to start downloading right away so now let me show you where the download link is Okay, this is how the download page looks like. Do you guys see that download page? If you click on the download, this download page is going to start downloading right away. So that is how you download the Plutagon. Now, after you've downloaded it, you open it. You have to extract the Plutagon, actually. You have to extract the OBB file because you need an application called WinZip or any zip application you can get your hands on so that you're going, you going to use it to extract the OBB file into, into the OBB section then you launch the APK. If you don't know how to do that, you can search it online on how to, you know, how to extract an OBB file. Or after this video, I'm going to try and make another video on how to extract OBB file. So check the description of this video, whether you see the link to how to do, how to extract the file right there. If you did not see it there, that means you have to go and search it online on how to extract OBB file. So after you've downloaded it and you've extracted it, you now you have to log into the application so now let's go into the application okay uh if you open the plotagon this app is going to open and this is how the interface looks like as it is right now it's trying to download all the assets as you can see down right here it's writing downloading you don't need to own your data for all this but if you own your data it's still fine but if you also don't own the data it will still load uh so now if you open the if the plotagon open this is how it's going to look like and this one that you see right here are the videos that has been created with Plotagon, but that is not why we are here. So if you want to start creating your own video, click on this icon right down here, this camera icon right down here. So right now I'm going to click on the camera icon. If you click on the camera icon, you're going to see uh, stuff like this. All these things you are seeing, you are looking at are uh, the assets that you are going to use to create your own animation video. So... Uh, the first thing you ought to do and I advise you to do is to create new character. The character means the human being that is going to appear on your animation video. Uh, if you don't wish to create a new character, you can also pick from tons of character that has been already created on this application. But right now, just click on this character right here to see all the available characters. So I'm going to click on the character. These are the characters that are available right now. But if you don't like all these ones, or maybe it's not fitted to your own style, you can create your own new character that will suit you. So now to create your own character, you have to click on create new character right here. Right here. You guys can see that. So now I'm going to click on the create new character. Create new character. So as you guys can see, this is how the default character looks like. If you want to rotate the character, just tap on it and shifts i hope you guys can see my cursor on the screen is the white dot as you are seeing so if you if you are root if you are if you are sliding on it like this it's going to be rotating so now you have to choose whether it's male or female so let's assume i want to create for male 
So I'm going to click on mail right here. So mail. As you guys see, it has just switched to mail. So now after you have choose whether it's male or female, go to the next step right here. This is where the cursor is. As you guys see that, this is the cursor right here. All this, all this cursor you are seeing here, all these things up here, they are the cursor that you are going to be using to change the uh, character. So let's start from the first one, which is uh, how you want the head shape to look like. So as I tap on it, you guys can see that it brings a lot of tones of head shape. So for the purpose of this tutorial, I'm going to key click on this one, this head shape right here. This one looks fine. And you can also choose the color you want. If you are a white person, you can choose white color right here. So this is where I'm choosing the color. You guys see it down here. This, that is where I'm choosing the color. So if you're a white person, you can choose white. But this white look kind of weird. So we're not going to use white. You can make it. This one is cooler. And you guys can see if you're a black person, you can choose black. If you are, you know, a little bit fair, you choose this. So for the purpose of this tutorial, we are going to make use of this one. This one looks cool and general. So now if you're a plumpy, maybe you fat, you can choose fat face. Let me choose fat face. You guys see that? You can choose um, thiffney face. You can choose um, edgy face, depending on the kind of face you have. So now I'm going to go with this. So next, let's click on the hair. Which kind of hair do you want? This is the hair right here. So I'm going to tap on it. As I tap on it, it's going to show me a lot of hairs that you can choose from. You guys see tons of hair right here. So uh, now let me choose. Uh, if you choose on this, you see? If you click on this you can rotate to see how it looks from the back if it's this that you want you know you see how the thing looks so depending on your style so you can choose anyone you want if, no matter the kind of hair that you want to choose is here you can choose a dreadlock if you are a malian you can choose the dreadlock so depending so let's say you want as a guy but this one doesn't really fit a man so let me choose the one that is going to go well with the man okay i think this is okay no Maybe let's, let's, let's go down a little bit more. Oh, sorry. I'm still looking for perfect one. Okay, I'm going to go with this. But let's say you want a bad hair. Maybe you don't want any hair on your head. So you can go. You just have to choose these times right here. If you choose this time, times, you guys see that? That is that is kind of molo or something. I don't know what you guys call it from where you're watching from. So now I'm not going to go with this. I'm going to go with this. This looks cool. Or this. No, let me go with this. All right. So this the hair I'm going to go with. So now let's move to the next one, which is the mustache. So I'm, as I click on it, it's going to show you a lot of mustache you can choose from. If you want this kind of mustache, you guys see that? Oh, this uh for Indian people. You can choose this. You can choose this. You can even choose this too. You guys see that this is a little bit of a mustache. You can choose the curly one, the turning one, you know. But I like this one better. No, I don't like it. Let me go with uh, this. This one is low cut. But it's not really going to be visible unless you change the color. So right down here is where I'm going to change the color. So let me click the color. See? You can change it. If you change the color, it's going to be more visible. But let me go with black color. So this one looks more mature. Okay, let me use this. Let me use this. Okay, I think I like this. Okay, so I'm going to go with this. So now let's go to the next one, which is the eye. You can choose the color of any color of the eye you want. So let me go with red eye. You guys see blue eye green eye black eye but i'm going to go with green eye for the purpose of this tutorial it looks handsome so uh you can choose the eyebrow you can choose anyone you like so i'm going to go with this eyebrow right here you can choose the you know eye shadow i don't know what you people call it eye shadow you can choose any style i'm going to go with this style this style looks cool um okay now even the lips you can change the lips color so i like pink lips so i'm going to choose lips pink lips right here you guys see that the lips is really pink but if you like black lips you can choose black here you guys see but i like pink lips so i'm going to choose pink lips because i have pink lips i'm going to choose it like that so uh now you go to next one which is the eye okay this this eye this place is where you get to choose the kind of you know accessory you want to put on your character so this first one right here is earring as you guys see that earring so you can change the color to yellow or green I hope you guys have seen the earring. This is the earring right here. Right here. So, as you're changing it, the color of the earring is going to be changing. You see black. I'm going to go with yellow. Uh, so, if you don't like earring, you can go with ear picks. You can go with ear picks if you like that. You can choose uh, this glass. You can choose this glass. Choose this glass. And all this glass, you can change the color. If you choose any glass and you want to change the color, you can change the color from down here. So, 
uh if you are a lady maybe you want to put on a job this is hijab you see but hijab really don't fit this guy right here so you can choose hijab this hijab also you can choose these you know there are tons of things you can choose from you see uh so but for this tutorial i'm not going to choose anything i'm going to leave it at earring so earring looks more ras you know so i'm going to go with that so now let's go to the next one which is the clothes the you know the dress the dress are so much that you can choose anyone that suits your tribe no matter where you are where you are from so i'm just going to go with you know since i'm dressing like a talk so let me choose one that will suit a talk person so uh let me choose um which one can i go with sorry let me go with this i think this is okay no i don't like it let me choose let me choose this or this let me just go with suit and if you can also change the color of the suits if you choose this, you see, suit can change color. You can change the color of any clothes you want. You can change the color like this, you see. Okay, I think, let me go with pink. Let me go with pink. This pink looks cool. So, that is that for the clothes. You can also choose the trouser. Trouser right. Let me go down for the trouser. Okay, I'm looking for the trouser that will suit it most. Okay, no, this doesn't look good. Okay, choose this. Then I'm going to change the color to pink. So that's going to rhyme with the one I'm pressing on at top. So I think it's okay like that. It looks cool. So now I'm going to change the boots. So you can choose any boots you want right here. So let me go with uh, boots that will suit the suit I'm putting on this. Uh, 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 let me go with this. You can change the color to pink if you like. Okay. You guys see that? You can rotate to see how the guy looks. As you guys can see, the dude looks so dapper. It's very dapper. Uh, let me pause for a moment. Don't forget to subscribe. If you like to be watching more of this kind of video, click on the subscribe button right now and notification bell so you get to be seen if I'm posting any new updates about animation videos. So let me continue. So now to the next uh, 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 tab. This is where you get to add. If you are from USA, if you click on this right here, the intonation of the voice of your animation is going to sound like a USA person. But if you are from Africa or any other country, if you click on this add voice right here, it's going to bring other countries and other countries of the intonation you want it to be sounding with. If you are from Africa, you can choose Africa intonation. You can choose India intonation, no matter what. But I don't have the luxury of time now. So I'm going, just going to go on with this USE. So if you click on the next one right here, is where you are going to name the name of your character. So I'm going to go with Sheriff, which is my name. Sheriff network network so i'm going to go with this okay so okay it's trying to save the character as you guys can see that it has finished saving it so these are all the characters this is the one i just created right now this is the one i just created right now and this is this is the one i've created before so now you've created your character so start your animation let me be quick to so start your animation after you've created, created your character, you need to create the plot, I mean the, the environment where you want it to be. But you can just go ahead and choose from the ones that are already here. You see? So, let me just, let me look for a cool one to use right here. Okay, let me use uh, this one right here. So, just click on any one. If you click on it, it's going to open it. After you have clicked on this scene you want to make use of, so this is how it's going to look like. So now what you have to do, in, you might see all this text that you are seeing right here. And all this text is time to tell you, like if you play it now, it's going to be saying all these things that you are seeing on the screen, all this text. So we don't need to do that. Let's start from the scratch. So to remove all this text, just tap on any text right here, then left slide and click on the X. Left slide on it again, click on the X. Left slide and click on the X. Left slide and click on X, yes. So now, you have to add your own new scene. The scene that you want to put all your animation off, is you have to add it right now. So to add the new scene, you click on this scene icon right up here. So now let me click on it. If I click on it, it's going to bring all this text that you're seeing right here. So, so after you have clicked on that, you have to click on this scene again, this scene right here again. So tap on scene. It's going to open a lot of screen. All this thing you are seeing, all, those, all these things are seen. But because I off my data, that is why you are not seeing it on display right here. So 
Yeah, let's just choose anyone right here. So I'm just going to go with the uh let me choose bedroom right here. You guys see that? So I I'm just using this bedroom for the sake of this you know tutorial. So you guys you can click on anyone you like. So now that I've clicked on bedroom, this is the scene that I want to bring my animation on. So after you've done that, you have to come again and click on character right here. This character right here. You guys see that character. So the character is the one that you've created previously. So you tap on character. So now I'm going to choose the one that I've created before. So if I choose it, as you guys see that, I have just turned right here. I was not here before and I've stand here. You might want to change the position of where you are standing at. So let's say maybe you want to change the position. Now, as you guys can see, it's telling me that Sheriff Network is standing to the left in the middle. So now if you want to change when I'm standing, just tap onto the middle. So maybe if you want to sit down on the bed, just click on bed. You guys see that? Let's say you don't want to sit on the bed. You want to stay at the window, click on window. You guys see? But for the sake of this tutorial, I'm going to sit on the bed. So let me click on bed. So I'm sitting on the bed now. So next, you want to choose uh, how you want the camera to rotate. Do you want the camera to show from your side or you want it to show from the front? So you click on this camera icon right here. So tap on the camera icon. You guys see that? It's going to show you that, okay, how do you want the camera to show? Click on establishing shots, skipping shots. You guys see that? So as you guys can see, the thing just is going to be displaying as a skipping shot. So haven't done that, you you might want to do a um, show what you want the character to maybe you want the character to be saying something so now let me let me try and make the character speak so to make the character speak you have to click on this icon right here that looks like message up here so tap on it right up here it's going to open another tab right down here so now i haven't seen this tab to make the character speak just go ahead and click on character first to select the character that you want to speak so click on character it's going to bring option of my name so you tap on the character. As you guys can see, it has showed the face of my character now. now. Now you want to start that. You want to start speaking. So now let's choose what reaction you want the character to be displaying while speaking. So let's say I want the character to be, you know, to be... Let's, you, guys, you guys can see there are tons of reactions right here. So let me say I want my character to be um, mind-blowing. For example, I type on mind-blowing. Mind trick, you guys see, uh, no, mind trick is not good. Let me use blow keys. Okay, so let's say I want my character to be displaying blow keys. So you guys see that, you can play it and see as it looks like, you see. My character is just, if you, you want to play, if you want to play and see how the things look like, you can come right down here, so click on play. Right down here. So click on play. You guys see, it's just blowing the keys. So now that is how you blow keys. So now as it's blowing keys, do you want it to be saying something as it's playing the keys? Yes. If you want it, if you want to type what you want it to be saying, let's say you don't want to speak into it, just want to be typing it. You just go right here and tap on it right here and say, okay, maybe let's say you want to say hello love. Just type hello love. Hello love. Okay, now that you have typed it, let's click on play and see. Let's see how it's going to sound. Hello, love. You guys see that? Let's play it again once again. You guys see that? So this is how you add character. Let's say you want it to keep speaking further. You just go ahead right up here to click on this uh, message again. Let's say you want to say, how are you doing, love? You can also type it again. You can say, uh, I'm typing it right here now. I'm trying to say, how are you? How are you? Okay. You guys just see that. So now let's play it and see how it looks like now. How are you? Have you seen that? So this is how it works. So if you want to add more scene, you just go right up here to add more scene. Maybe you want to choose another location. If you tap on it, it's going to bring up another location. And if you want to add message, you go here to add message. And, you know, as you keep doing it, you're going to get pretty, you know, better at it. As you keep practicing, you're going to keep getting better. So this is how it looks like to do the animation video. Don't forget to subscribe on this video if you enjoy my, you know, 
my tutorial and click on the like button. You can also share it so people that doesn't know about it before will get to know about it. So thanks for watching this video. Have a nice time. Bye-bye.